Whether it's gathering intelligence, toppling the next villain that's bent on world domination, or seducing someone in the casinos of Monaco, if there's one thing James Bond has always needed, it's a trusty dive watch with at least 300 meters of water resistance. Thankfully for James Bond, since 1995, Omega has been providing him the tools he needs to carry out his missions. And, despite the fact that they don't have the same gadgets that Q puts in the watches, Omega has also made sure to load these watches with features as they meet the needs required by James Bond in the films. And today we have two watches inspired by the iconic films, as well as one that's actually featured directly in it and even designed with input from the actor for James Bond himself, Daniel Craig. But let's start out with the earlier one, which is the Seamaster 300. Now, the Seamaster 300 collection was released in 2014, just one year before one of the most successful James Bond films in the franchise, Spectre, which was released in 2015. Its design harks back to the original Seamaster 300 from 1957, with its straight lugs, flat link bracelet, and faux patina to show a little bit of a vintage vibe. Crucially, different to the other watches that Daniel Craig and even Pierce Brosnan had been wearing, it also is a no-date watch. So this also is a little bit of a reference to the Rolex 6538 no-date Submariner that Sean Connery was seen wearing in the earlier films. The collection itself evolved over time, however, from the beginning it was always placed one cut above the normal Seamaster 300 and Professional, which we came to find on Pierce Brosnan's wrist. It had the more advanced movement in the case of the titanium one, which you're seeing now, this one featured the Calibre 8400. This was essentially a no-date version of Omega's flagship Calibre, and crucially, it still features the jumping hour hand, something very useful for someone who travels all across the world like James Bond. The introduction of titanium in serial production for the Seamaster 300 was also a departure from what we saw on the traditional Bond or Brosnan Seamaster, and adds an extra dimension of utility for James Bond's watch, as it makes it much lighter and less cumbersome while still offering all the features he needed. In the movie itself, Bond had his own personalized 300, which not only featured small changes to the regular serial production one, such as having the lollipop seconds hand, its own NATO strap, however, the DNA is very much present in the regular production one, and it's a fantastic watch if you want to have that vintage vibe, but incorporate a little bit of high tech in the form of the titanium and the ceramic bezel. However, as time passed, Spectre became an icon of the history books, Bond started to look to the future, and like all important watch brands, when looking to the future, Omega looked to the past. And what they did is they actually brought back the Seamaster 300 and professional design. This was traditionally known as the Brosnan Seamaster because it was introduced on Pierce Brosnan's wrist in 1995's GoldenEye, and it hadn't actually been featured on Daniel Craig's wrist since 2006's Casino Royale. Throughout the majority of his time as James Bond, Daniel Craig featured a Planet Ocean as well as an Aquaterra on his wrist. Again, a big departure from the Brosnan era where it was almost exclusively the Diver 300 and Professional. However, bringing this back was a nice way to put things full circle as we hadn't seen this on the wrist of Daniel Craig's 007 since his original debut in Casino Royale. This also featured the most involvement from Craig in terms of the actual design. Again, it is rendered in titanium, but also you see a lot of flourishes that you don't see on the regular current production 300M. Things such as the patina, which also you see on the Seamaster 300. You also have the military and Ministry of Defense markings harking back to 007's history as a naval officer. This also adds a little bit more legitimacy to it and makes it a bit more authentic to the fact that James Bond is supposed to be someone receiving actual Ministry of Defense issued equipment. And its design, however, is definitely something very personalized to Daniel Craig. Gone is the usual tank tread bracelet that we tend to see on the Diver 300 and Professional, and instead we have this nice Milanese bracelet rendered in full titanium. This was something totally new for Omega, and it was something they've actually now introduced again in steel variants as well, and they offer it as an additional accessory for some of their watches. What both watches have in common, however, is that they both look to the past, but also bring a futuristic spin. Whether it's the No Time to Die with its titanium Milanese bracelet, using the Diver 300M professional design, and on top of that, having one of Omega's most advanced movements in the Calibre 8806. This shows all of the technical capabilities that Omega is able to cram into a watch without even needing Q's involvement. Meanwhile, the Seamaster 300 maybe has a bigger foot in the past. However, it still includes the flourishes of Omega's modern design, was available in titanium as well, as well as with a ceramic bezel. So really bringing that mesh of past and present. And both of these pay homage to both the history of James Bond while still looking at the future of it. So that's just a quick intro into two of the most iconic designs to feature on Daniel Craig's wrist during his tenure as James Bond. Now that his tenure is over, it's interesting to look to the future and see what will the next James Bond bring to the table, and most importantly for us, what will feature on his wrist. 
So let us know in the comments below which watch from Omega's collection you'd like to see on James Bond's wrist, as well as who your ideas are for who the next James Bond could be. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you like it and share it. If you want to see more videos about watches, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well. In any case, thanks for joining us today, and we'll catch you on the next video.